Star Trek's original ban on female starship captains is even weirder than it seems. Starfleet's ban on women starship captains in Kirk's time was odd, and now fans learn it was a very real but unofficial thing. Star Trek's original ban on women captains is even weirder than it seems. As the Star Trek mythos has grown and developed, certain aspects of it have not aged well and its ban on women in the captain's chair is one of them. And debates have raged for years over how to reconcile it with Trek's utopian future, but in Star Trek, Missions N-5, fans learn it was a real thing sort of. Star Trek, Missions N-5 is written by Ty Templeton and drawn by Steve Molnar. Throughout the series, Kirk has had romantic feelings for Ambassador Kasadi, and the feeling is mutual. At the end, Kasadi wishes to pursue a relationship with Kirk, but he informs her that it would not be professional due to the lifting of the unofficial ban on women starship captains. He informs her the USS Hawking needs a captain, and she is to take command. Finally, he tells Kasadi that if they were to have a relationship, people may feel she did not earn the captain's chair. Some parts of Star Trek have not aged well. For 57 years, Star Trek has depicted a utopian future free of the strife that has been a hallmark of the human condition, including racism, misogyny, and homophobia. Met in Star Trek's third season, in the episode The Turnabout Intruder, Janice, a former lover of Kirk's, famously tells him that his world does not allow women to be starship captains. The line flies in the face of everything else fans know about Star Trek, inspiring passionate debate among fans over what it means. Most believe that Janice was merely implying Kirk's personal world does not allow for women captains. This solution makes sense. Other Star Trek shows set before the original series, such as Enterprise, Discovery, and Strange New Worlds, have depicted plenty of women captains. This lends credence to the theory that Janice was referring to Kirk's world. However, there have been instances in the franchise where seemingly incongruous laws have been seen. The most notable, other than the no women captains rule, was the death penalty for anyone visiting Talos 4. The death penalty and a highly misogynistic ban on captains are at odds with the future Star Trek depicts. And yet, Star Trek Missions End makes it clear that the ban on women captains was a very real, albeit inofficial thing. The book, nor any other Star Trek media, has asked why this ban existed in the first place as it flies in the face of the franchise's progressive vision for humanity. Also, this ban could not have lasted long as Strange New Worlds, set about five years before the original series, features a woman skipper in Captain Bartle. Starfleet's ban on women captains is a shameful chapter in its history, although one it learned from and made sure never happens again.